Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, barbecue chicken. The first thing that I've done is I've taken these dark quarters, I've brined them in a very simple brine with herbs and sugar and salt and water and let them dry on this tray in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. So I do want to season them. I do want to oil the tops of these to help that chicken fat caramelize. And I've already cleaned my grill. Just rub some oil here and you'll notice holes on one side, chicken on the other side, so that I can actually smoke my chicken, which is going to give me some of that traditional barbecue technique. So all I'm going to do is lay these with the thinnest end of that chicken leg furthest away from the heat. Next thing we want to do is we want to add some smoke. These are applewood chips. Flip open my lid. If you have a grill with a thermometer on it, place it over your chicken. Normally we leave vents that are open. Here we want to hold in smoke. I want to shut that top vent. We have our smoke. You can see that smoke action happening. We're going to get a lot of smoky flavor in our chicken because of that. We're at like 325 degrees to start. We can leave this there for half an hour and watch how the temperature falls from 325. This falls down to 200 degrees. After a half an hour, we may need to add another 10, 15 minutes of cooking time. The fun part about barbecuing, smoking, working the grill is that you're manning a fire. Taming that system is the art that we all love about cooking outdoors over wood or charcoal. Here we have all of this beautiful chicken. It still has about 15 minutes to cook. It's smoked beautifully. So all we want to do is lift our little lid here, push these coals to the side, add some of our hot coals to this put this on, except this time, I'm gonna open our top. We're back up to about 425, 450 degrees after the application of that heat with that new coal bed. And one thing that you can do is you can start to move these around and go over direct heat. Monitoring these, you know, we probably gonna want a total of about another 10 minutes of cooking time over direct heat to actually get these where we wanna be. Color wise, texture wise, skin brittleness wise, exactly what you're looking for, right? We're gonna be flipping these over onto the skin side. Now, if you notice here, the meat is starting to pull away, the tendons are breaking, and I can see liquid right here in these little pockets actually boiling away. So I know that this is cooked on the inside. I've got some nice crustiness. We haven't incinerated our birds. We have a beautiful dark mahogany brown. You can just glaze them a little bit. I love that barbecue sauce flavor profile with the molasses and the chilies in there sort of on the bird. 45 more seconds to kind of let that set. Let it rest for five, 10 minutes and dig in. So of course the proof is in the pudding. Absolutely perfectly cooked dark meat, super juicy. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's the best thing I've cooked in a long time, and I cook a lot. I'd put this up in a barbecue contest any day of the week. You're gonna love this.